Hi everyone. Very, very happy to be connected with you all through Atta Galata. This edition of Ask the Author helped me connect to an entirely new set of readers. And I'm so glad about that. I hope we can keep the conversation going and stay connected here on too. There were just so many questions. I was completely overwhelmed. It was very difficult to choose three, but it had to be done. So I've done that. What I've done is that I've chosen one generic question about writing, because that's what the platform is all about. And second, I've chosen a question about my book. And third, about immunity because that is the buzzword and I feel it needs to be addressed too. So let's begin the questions. Let me take the first question. The first question is by, uh, that I've chosen is by Dr. Priya Ranjan Mohan. He has asked, uh, do you have any suggestions to help me become a better writer? If so, what are they? Uh, Dr. Mohan, this is such an important question and first of all congratulations that you are a writer and want to become a better writer that in itself is a big battle one and you're going to really enjoy being a writer let me tell you that and how to become a better writer now i'm not really very wise in that but i can share with you the rules that i have followed and I, they have really helped me so maybe they can help you as well the first rule I believe in becoming a better writer is to read a lot. The more you read and across genres, it needn't be about the genre that you want to write in. You must just read, become a voracious reader. The more you read automatically, your writing will get better and smoother. The second rule that I follow uh, whether, especially because I'm a non-fiction writer, I don't know if it works for fiction writing as well or not, but particularly for non-fiction writing, there is no substitute at all for research. The more research you do, the better your uh, grasp on the subject would be. And there is absolutely no end to it. So again, read research and it's going to help you a lot. And the third thing, the most important rule, practice. Practice till you're able to write in a way that your writing seems completely effortless. Trust me. Good writers write in a way that seems so simple to the reader that the reader must feel, oh, I could have written it. Or I really do understand what the writer is trying to say. So practicing to become a writer who is a simple writer is really important and it's not easy, trust me. So I really hope this helps and this is the question actually which I've chosen as the winner as well. So congratulations on getting my book. Now we, I hope you really enjoy reading it. And the second question that I want to take is by Mr. Prabhat Kumar Chaturvedi. He has asked that during the COVID outbreak, what diet will you suggest to boost immunity? Now, I've spoken about it extensively. If you follow me anywhere on any of my social media, this is all I've been speaking about. And immunity is the buzzwords, but I thought it's important maybe if we could address it again today. So the diet has to be wholesome. So this is no time to experiment with fat diets. Focus on eating a diet that gives you enough protein because that's essential enough vitamin C at least two sources of vitamin C from food every day get some vitamin D so make sure that you sit in the Sun for half an hour every day make sure that you stay hydrated because even one percentile of dehydration in the body can dip your immunity to a huge extent so remember this, this is something that most people forget. And finally, please stay near your optimum weight. Excess weight also dips the immunity 
to quite an extent. So I hope that these are broad rules of course, but I hope these help you. Uh, I'll take the last question now. Uh, now actually two people asked the same question, so I'm going to take both their names here, Siddharth Atri and AKS. Now I don't know AKS what your full name is, but I guess you would know that I mean you by AKS. Now they both of them want to know, I want to ask her that she wrote about superfood in her book. How did this title come about? And this, uh, I mean, and that uh, second question, second part to this question is: Do our everyday staples can can be those superfoods? Well, you know, this is really close to my heart because I, the, my latest book, Fix It with Food, is about superfoods, and it is about everyday superfoods. So superfoods are foods that are really good for you, loaded with nutrients and do not have a mean bone in them. So they are all good. Now, uh, as far as getting superfood from our everyday foods is concerned, trust me, every single food that I've mentioned in my book, and there are lots of them, there are 40 chapters on everyday superfoods, the foods that you can get at your local grocer, local sabziwala. So, yes, to answer your questions, your everyday staples are superfoods. You just need the information, the right information, to know what makes them a superfood and what are they good for. And to answer how did I come up with this topic, well, I realized that um, it's important that we give respect to the everyday sabzis that we eat and the everyday fruits that we eat. You know, things like bottle gourd, things like karela, things like apple, banana, all of these are superfoods because they are really good for us. So I wanted to give them the respect and make them or call them superfoods. So that is why I um, chose this title for the book and I'm glad I did because it is doing well and people are identifying with it. and. Uh, it's getting a lot of love. In fact, all my books have got a lot of love because of readers like you. And I hope you keep reading me and stay connected. And any questions which I've not been able to answer for whatever reason, for the time uh, constraint, you're most welcome to connect with me on my social pages and you could send me your question uh, through a direct message and I will definitely try to answer them. Thank you so much.